growing a chili pepper all year round in a container is nice. However, training it into a chili bonsai is great. So join me as I start this chili pepper on its way to becoming a chili bonsai, also known as a bonchi. Coming up in this odd bonsai video, I will be repotting this chili plant into a proper bonsai container and then prune it back. So let's get to work. This chili plant was started from a seed last spring, so it's coming up on its one year anniversary. It grew as a very short pepper plant, so it will probably make a good small bonchi, especially given the compact size of this chili variety. Let's start by getting the chili pepper plant out of its pot. It won't come out willingly, so it will need a bit of persuasion. For this I will loosen the soil a bit. Going around the pot with this plastic stick should loosen the soil and roots. And now we try again. I'm also pressing on the pot a bit as an added help. Yeah, that was it. I'm now gently removing all the soil using my root rake. The roots are very fine and will break easily if you pull on the rake too hard. Luckily, this seems to be some nice potting compost which is pretty easy to remove. One thing that always helps when repotting is to keep the soil on the dry side before this operation. This pepper plant seems to have a pretty nice and healthy root ball, which is great. Now that most of the soil is removed, I'll switch to using a stick for removing the remaining soil. You can already see now how nice and radial are the roots and also how dense they are. This is a nice thing about chilies. I was hoping for a longer trunk hidden beneath the soil surface, but as you can see the trunk is pretty short, which is not necessarily that bad. So it will be a small bungee. Okay, I think that's about all I can do with the stick. I am now rinsing the roots to get them nice and clean of all remaining soil. I'll be planting the chili in this small oval bonsai pot. First, let's do a test fit to see how it would look like. I will place the chili with a bit of offset towards one side of the pot, something like this. Here's also a view from the top. It will definitely need a pruning both in the canopy and the roots. So I will start with pruning the roots. Here's a closer view of how the roots currently fit into the pot to get an idea of how much to cut them back. I'm cutting the roots back at about the same distance from the trunk to get a symmetrical root system. They are so thin and soft that cutting them feels like cutting a bunch of sewage threads. Ok, I think that should do it for now, let's do another test fit. Well, it seems we still need to trim them a bit. So I'm trimming off a bit more from the sides now. And as a final step I'm removing any unwanted roots from the bottom side. That's a good fit. I'm placing a drainage screen over the drainage hole and I'm adding some bonsai soil. I'm using a mix of equal proportions of perlite, vermiculite and potting compost. Next I'm positioning the chili plant into the pot. I think this position is just about right. I filled in the rest of the soil and I am now working it in between the roots to remove air pockets and make it more compact. The soil is completely dry, so good watering is required before proceeding with the pruning part. Branch pruning is needed for reducing the size of the canopy to compensate for the root pruning and also to adjust the branch structure on all sides and making the pepper more compact and ready for the new season's growth. 
I'm shortening all the main branches back to a leaf node that is already showing signs of new growth to stimulate secondary branching. And of course the last remaining chili pepper of the season. This is what I am left with after pruning. I removed quite a bit of branches and foliage, but I think that this is a good shape to start developing this chili bonsai from. It has a full growing season ahead and we will be revisiting it in a future video. Let me know your thoughts on how this project turned out and on growing bonsai chilies down in the comment section. Also, please consider subscribing and click the bell icon to get notified on future videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you in the next Odd Bonsai video.